welcome to my tired camping face. Okay, so here we are guys. We are at a little campsite called Palace Farm Hostel and Campsite. And it is a beautiful, glorious June day. This is my friend's tent. And here is the bell tent, doing us proud. And this is home for the next five days. Here is inside the tent. This is in place of where the stove would be. And I usually have my cooker standing on there, um, but my, my neighbor is borrowing it at the moment. A friend of ours camping with us. This isn't really working. It's too far um, under the fabric. I'm having to sort of crouch to do that. So I'm considering moving it into the more upright space. Um, again, I'm struggling to get over to the baby, or a toddler actually. Um, everything seems to just end up on the bed, which I don't like. I need some sort of hanging solution. Maybe a coat stand or something standing here would be great. Um, but then we've got the candles there, so it can't be too close. Um, we also have the teenage bed over here. And... I've got the two ottomans. I did have them up over beside the bed, but we keep needing them to sit on. So I've moved them to here and this gets covered in stuff and is awkward to get to because I've got most of my excess bits and pieces in that chest and I have to keep clearing it off. I'm really considering moving it over into this space here. Um, we've ended up with dirty washing there. Um, I need a better solution for that. And it's just awkward. I didn't bring rugs this time because I couldn't fit them in the car, um, apart from the little ones that I've got that like to move all around the floor. So I'm sorry, there's an aircraft flying over at the moment. Um, but yeah, this isn't really working for us. I think there's, I feel like there's a lot of unused space over there that could be better put to use. And it's just so hard to maintain because it, it gets so messy. Um, we've got the water under there and the cooker with um, an extra cooker case. My old cooker died, I kept the case. Um, and the bin is sort of tucked around there in a carrier bag and it's all a little bit awkward. Our food is currently in there. Um, so my luggage is in under the bed. The bed was super warm and cosy. Absolutely fantastic. No problems at all with keeping warm. Um, so that was great. Um, my teenage son, super warm. Uh, the toddler, again, also super warm. And I will do another video on how I set up the beds to be really comfortable and really warm. But yeah, this is sort of what I would call more classic layout with the bed, the main bed here, and sort of two beds down the side and a, a chest here, but it's really, it's not practical. It's just not practical, not with four people in here. 
Um, it's very, very awkward. So I do need to play and find out how else I can make it work, which I am probably going to do later today. And I will add that to this video too. Right, this is the third time I tried to film this. I'm just gonna roll with the noises happening around me. People keep walking in and out of the tent. It is what it is. I was attempting to say on the other two times I started filming this that I haven't really had much chance to film like I wanted to. Um, and that's definitely something that I've learned. I was planning on showing you the new layout and it being lovely. And I had this vision in my head for this channel that I would be staying in this bell tent and it would all be, it would be truly glamorous camping and it, it is glamorous and it's very different from camping in a nylon tent, that's certain. And I have learned so much. I've learned so much in so many different ways. I've learned about the differences with the bell tent, um, which I will cover fully when I get home. Um, I've learned about camping as a family of four. First two nights, it was just um, me and the children. And that's an experience I don't wish to repeat um, because the, the ages of my children, they do clash. One's um, about to turn 13 and the other's about to turn two. And although the 13 year old is super easy generally, um, besides some of his autism quirks, um, because of his autism quirks, he actually really struggles with the, the teen, um, the toddler and, um, it's been difficult. There's been a lot of rain on and off and I'll insert a clip of the, um, the, the tent, how it dealt with the rain. I was super impressed with that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, I've, I've been surprised. I've been really surprised. I, like I said, I had this vision of how it was going to be just so beautiful. And you know what? It's been camping. It's not been beautiful. I've not been beautiful. I've been tired and I wanted to have the tent all clean and tidy before I did um, uh, showing you the layout that I made. I've made it so much better. And I wanted to have my makeup on and feeling nice and it just it just hasn't happened um, uh, and I thought if if I don't just film I'm never gonna be able to do this I'm never gonna be able to just just go away and film and show people the glamping adventures and it is glamping we have got luxury beds and we have we are super warm and we've, we've brought everything with us um, but it's also camping and there's mud that's been walked in and I can't keep the grass out of the tent and everywhere gets, all the surfaces just get things dumped on them and the, the bed gets made five times a day because people are in and out of it and, oh, tidy it hasn't really been possible. There's been a few hours here and there when the toddler's been asleep it hasn't helped that it's been super rainy and I didn't bring enough to keep the toddler amused when it wasn't rainy so we've been stuck in the tent um, but you know what it's been a good size it has been a good size um, the the layout I've got it and I will I will film and show you and I will do a little bit of tidying up but it's ultimately it's gonna it's gonna have to be real I'm I have taken some photographs of the current state of the tent and it's bad and this is probably the worst it gets we have just cooked and that took a while because we only had one ring and we were doing burgers and uh, things like that and um, I was doing like one person's meal at a time and then doing another person's meal and it was all going on and every surface was being used and uh, so yeah but it is what it is and i am what i am and william take the dog out please thank you and the dog's been here <laughs> she's been stuck in the tent because it's been torrential um and it's just been on and off on and off and oh my hair 
I'm so tired, but I do love it. That I've had these moments of like, oh, this is amazing, I'm so happy. And then I've had these moments of I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. My hobby has really, really changed. And that's because we're a family of four. Um, it's also because we have a different tent and a slightly different setup. And I know there are lots of things I can do to improve um, what we've got because now I have the experience of staying in it. I'm realizing what I do and don't need. I need a better rug situation. I need something outside the tent that's gonna collect most of the stuff from our feet before it all gets walked in. Um, the ground's got quite boggy just inside the door, outside the door, so that area's getting muddy. Um, yeah, the, and I have chocolate fingerprints on the canvas, chocolate spread fingerprints on the canvas. The dog has um, sort of poured muddy paws at the door. Um, on the plus side, the bird poo that was sat there last time is actually wearing off. Um, so that's good. Uh, it's rained on the tent so much and it's been, uh, the sun's been coming down that side. The, the marks are getting sort of smaller, less noticeable. Um, so that works, sort of sun bleaching it. Um, it has been good. It's a good tent to have in the rain and you're not all crouched and um, soggy. Uh, it's been completely waterproof, but there's a gigantic bumblebee just flown in. Huge. Let's hope it works works its way back out again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's definitely been a challenge, and it's been an experience, and it's been fun too. But there are things that do need to change. What do you have in here? Do you have a bed, chocolate face? Do you have a bed? Ah, <clears throat> oh, 